It used to be that you could get t-shirts in like a, uh, like a Salvation Army. Those days are over um, because now there's hordes of people that scour the internet and those Salvation Armies for sort of holy grail shirts. Hey, I'm Justin Thoreau and Esquire has uh, asked that I share with you one of my favorite collections and I really only have one thing that I collect for the most part and I have billions of them and they are t-shirts that I've collected over the course of 40 years. Are you ready for this? There's no rhyme or reason to this. It's really just t-shirts that I like and some of them have history and some of them have no history whatsoever. This is actually good. We'll start with this one. This is a t-shirt that I tracked down that I owned when I was a teenager, or actually younger, probably like 10 or 11 when I was uh, living in Washington, D.C. This is an old D.C. rock station called D.C. 101. Uh, a little known fact, this is where um, Howard Stern was uh, a DJ before he moved to New York. And I was such a big Howard Stern fan uh, that I actually went down to this radio station, which used to be down on DuPont Circle. Tried to meet him, but he had been fired for saying outrageous things. I don't know, I, mean, I don't really have any rhyme or reason for how I buy them, I just kind of acquire them. And um, you know, it's like, and again, you go through genres, like I have a whole like spring break collection of multiple spring, spring break shirts, which are just hilarious, like, you know, spring break 91, Palm Springs, Rude Boys, I don't know what the hell that is. I like the colors, I like the graphics. And it was apparently a spring break party sponsored by Trojan, um, so it's spring break and they're just kind of hilarious. Bootleg shirts, I mean, they became kind of a thing by the brands themselves, which is a bit of a trick. But back in the 80s, you know, Gucci, Fila, Polo, it was the only shirts that people could get, you know, like so. I've been collecting those for years. Um, this is an old Gucci uh, bootleg with gold thread, which is, I think, beautiful. Um, uh, it's red, which is also not my color palette necessarily, but so this is one I don't even really wear that much, but I just love it so much because it's sort of off center and sort of looks like it's a knockoff. You know, it looks like a knockoff. It doesn't look like a real Gucci shirt. To me, those are the, the best ones. And then there was like sort of old bootleg like hip hop shirts, like is a great flavor flavor. Not one is a joke. It's just kind of like just beautiful artwork, beautiful colors, and um, yeah. And there's probably only like none of them in the world right now. These used to be like on those big bus uh, stand-up ads, you know, when Kate Moss and the Obsession things. Like I remember seeing these actual, you know, he used to pull them out, take them home, paint them, and then reinstall them, uh, you know, with his sort of bubindums and this, in this case a snake. Um, and he sent me this shirt, um, and he sent me two of them actually. You know, this is a classic sort of Spring Breaker shirt. It's a bootleg. Um, it says Disney on it. I don't know why the movie wasn't made by Disney, but um, maybe some of these actresses had worked with Walt Disney, but that's that. This is a great sort of hybrid shirt. It's a Selena shirt um, that I got in Mexico City, weirdly. Like, uh, I was on shooting, actually this is kind of perfect PR timing. It was when I was shooting the Mosquito Coast, and I usually when I'm in a different city, I'll find like a vintage shop or whatever and just flick through, and they had some really good shirts. This is a... I mean, this was one of my favorite, and it's one of my favorite rappers of all time. Um, this is Rakim, I love Eric B as well, of course. But this was a shirt that I had uh, sort of at the time that this record came out. Then, like so many shirts, you know, lost it and then was able to find it again. One of the best concerts ever happened about two years ago at the new Barclay Center. The Yo! MTV Raps did this crazy, I guess like a reunion tour concert. I don't even know how many cities they played in. Rakim was there, they had Big Daddy Kane, they had, I mean, it was just like the list was, it was like this insane roster of all the best Flavor Flav came around, like, and it was kind of like, how did I, how is this not like the biggest news? And that's when I realized that I was old. There's kind of a category of shirt here. It's kind of just like friends and family. This is from Russ, uh, uh, who owns a label called Sir. It's an old Sir shirt. Uh, I don't know what year it is, but not this decade. Uh, and it's the old F you pay me Cirilla shirt. And I love it. This is a beautiful, this is a category of never gets out of the closet, never gets worn shirt. This is just a really old uh, seating out black flag shirt. And uh, it's shredded and it's old and it, it's like tissue. You can't 
feel it necessarily, but it's like, um, you, it's just tissue paper, and if I breathed on it the wrong way, it might just rip apart and disintegrate. And let's see. Here's sort of the uh, homemade category. This is a, an old crash shirt that I had uh, made a long time ago. Um, we used to make these little craft stencils and put them all over public spaces when we were little, and we'd also put them on our clothing. Believe it or not, there used to be a day when people would make their band shirts, and that's what we did for the most part, because band merch didn't quite exist in the same way, at least for old hardcore bands, didn't exist in the same way. So a lot of them, which kind of brings us to this one, um, you know, are sort of like composite shirts. This is a great old Raymond Pettibone shirt that I love. Um, uh, artwork by Raymond Pettibone, this is Husker Du Minutemen, Meat Puppet, Saccharin Trust, and SWA. Um, and it's a tour that they clearly were on. Pettibone used to do these incredible drawings of hippies, um, sort of acid casualties that I adore very much. A graffiti artist made this amazing shirt. This is just last year, this is not a new shirt. You probably still get it online somewhere. Um, and he just did the classic sort of bootleg Bart Simpson and then local gay show their pride with the Springfield Gazette. And that was actually something that like, was interesting in the 90s that a lot of times on bootleg shirts, I have another one which is like an Air Bart shirt, you know, like they would just make him black or give him dreadlocks or whatever and it was, and those were all a lot on the bootleg. So he's sort of, I think, referencing that um, in this artwork. Another sort of similar process shirt, this was that poor woman in, um, was it Thailand? Um, who killed the uh, brother of uh, Kim Jong-un. She was tricked into doing what she thought was a prank show and rubbed poison on the man's face and he died in the airport. She then went to prison for several years. I made this, at the time that the story was happening, I was just so blown away that, that this was a thing that actually happened. And I, I had enormous sort of tenderness for her. I felt terrible and the fact that she was wearing an LOL shirt just made me sad. Another friends and family. This is um, one of my favorite shirts from Built by Wendy, who used to make guitar straps. This is one of the ones that she made. It's of the San Gennaro Festival. Um, there's John Jovino Gun Shop. Anyway, Robert De Niro. I hate this piece with a passion. It's just beautiful. Harvey Keitel. Fantastic. Uh, this is a, a beautiful shirt. Oh, it's, it's a Ricky Powell shirt, who just recently passed away, and he was a sort of a neighborhood fixture, big dog lover. I loved Huskies, and an incredible hip-hop photographer. Um, I knew him unwittingly from his photography because he photographed everyone from Run DMC, Beastie Boys, you know, everybody, Andy Warhol, Basquiat, etc. But he used to have maybe the funniest public access show on cable in the early 90s called Rapping with the Rickster, and this is a Rapping with the Rickster shirt, um, and that's him in the center there. I'll be walking down. 4th or 8th Street. He lives in my neighborhood and um, I used to see him around all the way, all the time. And it's just a beautiful shirt. So, thank you. That was my very small portion of my t-shirt collection. And thank you for joining me on this adventure. It makes no sense. There's no reason or rhyme to why I have the shirts that I like, but them's them.